Hello everyone, and welcome to a social distanced and quarantined edition of the Comic Shop Adventures. What's normally my weekly excursion where I leave the homestead of Athletic Geek HQ in search of a bounty of comics, graphic novels, action figures, collectibles, and all things in between. Unfortunately, uh, with the state of everything right now and the world we live in and the law of our state of only essential businesses being allowed to be open, uh, my local comic shop is closed for the foreseeable future. It's unfortunate. I'm disappointed. I'm hoping that not just my local comic shop, but comic shops from all across this state uh, will remain open. And... We'll be able to, once we get through all this, uh, be able to provide comic books again. The other thing is Diamond has stopped shipping comic books for the foreseeable future while the crisis is in effect. Uh, my local comic shop did get one more shipment after uh, the uh, mandatory shutdown was put into place and... All of us that have pull lists, well, uh, the owner was kind enough to ship them to us. So this is much like everything else in the world, much like, you know, just being changed a little bit right now. Comic Shop Adventure is what, what, could, be the, what could be the last one for a foreseeable future. I mean, we, last one. Thought could be, you know, it's everything. I don't even know what to say. It's just, it's weird doing it this way. And the whole world is weird. Uh, talk about what stood out from the bounty on the last adventure. Well, I mean, I really like Justice League. I thought Justice League was, it was a good conclusion. I thought the 80th anniversary Robin book was a love letter to a great character. And Deadpool was awesome as usual. Go Kelly Thompson. But, it's taken a while cause to get to me, and with everything going on, but they have finally shipped my full list from a couple weeks ago. So let's, let's see what I got. You know, first thing I got is, uh, well, I have Action Comics, number 1,000 and... 21, and uh, they're going to be incorporating Young Justice into this, so, yeah, this should be a fun read. I'm, I, I don't know how soon I'm even going to read these, just with the fact that until I know when I'm going to be able to get comic books again, I might kind of hold hold off on reading these, but not, not because of the quality, but just because of how, it's just. I apologize that I'm not really more pumped up for this, but it's just kind of, eh. Uh, but it looks like it'd be kind of cool. I'm really liking, you know, I love John Romita Jr.'s artwork, and I really like how he's drawn the, the Young Justice characters on the cover here. So, you know, this will be cool. Action Comics 1021. We go from there to Batman vs. Or I keep saying Batman vs. Superman, but it's Batman and Superman number eight. Uh, you know, it was kind of with Zod and Ra's al Ghul together, you know. And I was really looking forward to this. I was really looking forward to this arc. Again, I might hold off until I know that comic books are coming back, so that way I don't, you know, read myself into a deeper corner of, of, of cliffhanger here. But yeah, I really liked what this book was doing. Um... Zon and Rachel all go together, man. How can you not love that unless you're just a hater? But yeah. Great writing. Great book. Hopefully everything packs, you know, picks back up uh, with the comic industry so it can, it can run its course. Batman Superman, number eight. From there I go to Batman Detective Comics, number 1021. Two-Face story arc continues under Peter Tomasi, the man, the most underrated man in comic books. So, yeah. I uh, really like what he's done so far with Two-Face and underrated villain. 
that I feel like, and he's hard, the villain's hard to write, but if someone can write him well, it's top notch, and Tomasi's been writing him well. So, yeah, we'll just, again, hopefully, uh, hopefully everything will pick back up, and we can keep getting these books again. Detective Comics number 1021. And there we go to The Flash, number 752. Everybody's getting a race from time. Lots of... Barry Allen is the Peter Parker of the DC Universe. And, you know, that's another great, great arc from Joshua Williamson right now. Uh, just kicking more ass on, on The Flash. But, you know, who, who knows what's going to happen. Uh... Looking forward to this, and again, hoping sometime not in the not too distant future that there will be a conclusion. Flash 752. And to round out the DC portion of this bounty, we have Justice League Dark, number 21. Uh, seeing Zatanna and Wonder Woman together, that'll be kind of cool to see there. I mean, there's be kind of cool to see the dynamic between them and this uh this particular issue since it seems like they're uh really pushing that particular team up so we'll see justice league dark number 21 we now head to the world of marvel with falcon and winter soldier number two it's probably one that i'd be looking forward to reading the most i i was Really left uh, intrigued after issue one. You know, it's kind of weird villain motivation. Just kind of wanted to find out more about the villain. But we'll, uh, you know, <sighs> who knows? <laughs> who knows? I hate for this episode to be a downer. I really do. But it's just kind of everything's a downer now. And I'm trying, you know, I mean, I have this batch of comics to help. and But... I'm afraid to get into them and then never know what happens. I feel like maybe it might be time to start rereading some of that stuff instead until I know, hey, everything's back to normal with as far as comic shops and, you know, comic distribution. But I'm really looking forward to this whenever I get around to it. Falcon and Winter Soldier, number two. And finally, X-Men. Number nine. Yeah, it's X Men. I love the X Men. <laughs> this has been a trying time, and I and I hope everybody's doing well. I I, I like I said I apologize for not kind of being up for this, but it's just kind of the uncertainty. You know, it, as uncertain as I feel, I'm blessed enough that in real life I I have I I still have my job and I'm still able to. You know. I feel bad for everybody else in the world. I feel bad for all the, the comic shop owners. I feel bad for everything. I, I hope every, I, I I sincerely hope everybody's doing okay. I sincerely hope that we make it through this. And I think we will. Everything will be a lot different. But I hope when I when everything comes out on the other side, I hope that my local comic shop is still around. And I hope all you guys are still around. I hope everybody's safe. I hope everybody's feeling all right. Uh, you know, if you manage to get one more pull list before uh, everything happened, this let me know what you picked up. Let's let's talk comics. Let's talk comics, and you know, as I start to read more of what's on that shelf right there, maybe I'll maybe I'll get some reviews. Maybe you know, maybe we can get some more comic discussions while we're in kind of this. The, while the world is in this kind of little period, lull period, but I don't know. Hope everybody's doing well. Now, y'all be good later.